Hello my viewers. There's something that I've been wanting to make a video about for some time and I think it's, well I think that I'm going to do it now. I think that some techs are a little too quick to get the gauges out and put them on a machine. Um, I think that there's some other things that should be checked before you just hurry up and put gauges on on a system. See, because every time you put gauges on a system, you're going to take out just a little bit of gas every time you do that anyway. And in some cases, that can be critical in some small air conditioning systems, especially. Yeah, there are times when you have to actually break out the old gauges and, and see what pressures you're getting. But there is some preliminary troubleshooting that needs to be done first. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your thermostat is calling. So be sure, see in this case it is, to cool on. All right. Now the next step would be to make sure that the indoor blower is running. And in this case it is. If the indoor blower is not running, check the breakers to be sure that they are on because sometimes it could be as simple as that like if you've had an electrical storm recently or something like that if the breakers are on and the blower is not running then you could easily have a problem at the air handler the first thing is in the air handlers check to be sure that you have line voltage coming in so what you'll do is you'll set up your multimeter to read voltage and you'll put one probe on line one and the other probe on line two and you should have 240 volts in this case we do not and that in this case would be the problem if you do have line voltage then the next step would be to check to be sure that you have control voltage out of the, your control transformer and put one probe on R and the other on C for common and you should get like 24 volts in most cases. If you don't get 24 volts back in there is a control transformer and that would point the finger right at that item back there. And of course like I was saying if the air handler is running then the next possibility is that the condensing unit might not be running. In this case it is. If it's in the cool mode then you want warm air coming out of the condensing unit. If it's in the heat mode then you want cool air coming out of the condensing unit. If it's not running then you need to take the cover off and see if you have line voltage. So the way we do that is, is we can put right here, uh, looking at the multimeter, put this in for volts AC, and we'll check to see if we have any, if we have line voltage coming in, and in this case, we do not, and that's only because I did turn off the disconnect for this particular video. Now, if we did, it would say 250 volts. Also, check to be sure that you check both one ground and line two to ground because sometimes if you have one leg out, then you're going to get some kind of voltage, but that could be your problem anyway. Now, also check to see if you're getting a call to run in cool. And in this case, we are. See, I put the one probe on C for common and, and the other for Y for cool. And in this case, I have 24 volts. Okay, and that's because I'm getting that voltage from the air handler, which is powered. If it isn't running, then you'll need to be sure that you're getting continuity across your pressure switches. Okay, because high pressure switch and a low pressure switch. In this case, we are getting uh, good continuity across our low pressure switch and now we'll try across the high pressure switch 
and of course we are okay both the low pressure switch and the high pressure switch are in the closed position and that in this with this particular machine that's good that means that uh, it should have uh, control voltage going to the contactor and of course check the indoor and outdoor coils because if they're dirty then putting gauges on the machine isn't going to tell you a thing because it's not going to give you the proper readings Hi everybody, my name is Becky, I'm Jim's wife, Dr. Z, uh, and uh, I'd like to introduce some of my characters to you that I have on my channel. we like to invite you to come to our channel to check us out. Um, it's comedy, and I hope you all like comedy, so you can come over to our channel and check us out at Dearest Becky. First of all, is Grandma. Hello. Hi, you guys. This is Grandma. I was so happy when Becky told me to come on here to say hello to you all. And uh, we all want to just invite you to come join us as part of our, part of our family. Um, we have great comedy, we think. We hope. Anyways, we're all at Dears Becky. Um, so y'all stop by and come check us out. Thank you so much. Hi everybody. I just wanted to let you know that Grandma's such a ditch. I don't know if anybody knew what she did, but she had her dress on backwards. Yeah, there's one other thing she forgot to mention. And it is that... There's some of our videos that you have probably seen on Dr. Z's channel, but not all of them. We have other ones on Dearest Becky, so we'd love for you to come over and subscribe and watch our videos. We would be so happy. You can see what a great family we have. Thank you so much. And that is it. Dearest Becky, D-E-A-R-E-S-T-B-E-C-K-Y, all one word, small letters. Thanks. Oh no, it's not mine.